And the economy may be slumping, but that doesn't mean your finances have to as well. We've got an expert in the house to show you how you can become your family's chief financial officer. The current financial crisis has wiped out trillions of dollars in retirement savings. Stocks have plummeted, and investing seems like a pretty scary idea. True. So now what? Our next guest says that by following four simple rules, you can get a grip on your finances once and for all. She wrote the book, How to Be the Family CFO. Please welcome Kim Snyder to the show. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Glad to be here. <laughs> okay, when it comes to retirement, uh, especially for us, how do we plan accordingly for something that might possibly happen again in the future? Right. It's really scary right now. Four trillion dollars have been wiped out of retirement accounts. But the thing that we have to remember is that retirement is a long-term objective. It's not an event. It's something which takes 30 years, which is something most people underestimate. So you have to really view it that way. And so the key thing is to not panic, which is hard when you see your account yeah. values going down. Okay, and what about your your parents? And we were talking about this on the show yesterday. Your parents' retirement savings has dwindled. How do you create that dialogue to talk to them about maybe helping them out financially? It's funny because the previous generation, that was one of the, the last taboos, money. They really didn't talk about money the way that we do. And so sometimes it can be really hard to, to start that dialogue. The best approach is to just be direct. Mom, Dad, there's a lot going on right now. How are you guys doing? Can, can we talk about that? Is there something that I can do to help? And a lot of times just breaking that ice, they're so relieved to start to have that conversation. Yeah, because the last time I asked my dad about money, I asked him for 10 bucks to go out to the movies, and he <laughs> yeah. said no, and that was a Oh, wow, man. That was just yesterday, wasn't yeah, right. it? Yeah, right. That's not as much. Yeah. <laughs> so talk about the, uh, you have four kind of simple steps four that we can follow. Four simple steps, absolutely. They are plan prudently, save prodigiously, invest wisely, and manage risk. And okay. if we can get those under control, then you can get your finances under control. It seems like some of these things, we're, talk about older generations, were sort of common sense things that were followed by older generations that I think we sort of lost a little bit of our way in mm -hmm. recent years, in recent you know, decades. You know what, Andy, I tell people really, everybody wants to abdicate responsibility for their finances to a financial advisor, but the thing is, it is mostly common sense, and you don't get that in school, and you don't get that from a financial advisor. We have it. We just need to apply it. And, and you're speaking from personal experience. I am. I mean, the short version of the story, a long time ago I made a lot of money in an IPO, which I turned over to one of these big name brokerage firms. They promised me they'd take care of everything, and, and two years later they lost everything I hadn't managed to spend. And so, that's when you figured out how to become, the, as you say, the family CFO. The family CFO. CFO. One last question. If I become the family, family CFO, uh, will I get the remote back? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> That's not part of the deal, Campbell. Kim, thank you so much. You uh, if you want to check out Kim's book and for a more additional financial advice, you can click on the For More Info link on our website, dailybuzznow.com.